Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In recent years, icebreakers have emerged as an essential means to advance our understanding of the Earth's polar regions and the impacts of climate change. They provide a means of gathering data, monitoring changes in sea ice, and supporting expeditions to remote areas. To ensure the continued effectiveness of these vessels, the USCG carries on regular maintenance to avoid costly repairs or even scrapping. In 2000, the United States Coast Guard launched the most advanced icebreaker, Cutter Healy. They are named after Captain Michael A. Healy, who is considered to be one of the Coast Guard's most celebrated officers. The ship is 420 feet long and can continuously break through ice up to 10 feet thick at 20 knots. The vessel is equipped with state-of-the-art technology that enables operation in one of the most challenging environments in the world. Since its commissioning, the Cutter Healy has been involved in various missions, including scientific research in the Arctic and Antarctic, search and rescue operations, and enforcing maritime law in U.S. waters. In 2020, the Cutter Healy's propulsion motor caught fire causing damage to the ship's propulsion system. As a result, the Coast Guard carried out a major overhaul of the ship's propulsion unit. The process of replacing the propulsion units was a massive undertaking, requiring the use of heavy cranes and specialized equipment. A team of engineers, technicians, and contractors worked around the clock to complete the project. They made a massive hole in the ship's dual hull, then carefully removed the damaged motor and transported it to a nearby facility for repairs. The team then maneuvered the new unit into place and closed the hole. Despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Coast Guard was able to complete the repairs within six months. Operating in the polar means that these icebreakers are exposed to extreme temperatures, heavy ice pressure, and saltwater corrosion. Hence, regular maintenance and repairs are critical to ensure the effectiveness and maximize the lifespan of these icebreakers. For instance, in January 2020, the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Polar experienced a shaft leak during Operation Deep Freeze 2019-2020. Polar Star was about 18 miles north of McMurdo Station, Antarctica, when her crew members discovered that they had to act quickly to stop the leak. Now, fire, fire, fire. Five, four, three, three. 
They used a hand pump air ram to clear a clog in the shaft seal drain pipe. They then tighten the bolts around the seal. Similarly, while the cutter Willow was conducting an ice breaking mission, the vibration of striking ice caused one of the Willow Jack's staff bolts to shear off. To repair the damage, an expert officer climbed the jack staff and replaced the section that had fallen apart. The officer then used a wrench to tighten the bolts, ensuring the jack staff was securely fixed. This repair was critical to the safe operation of the cutter willow as the jack staff provided a mounting point for various navigation and communication equipment. Along with physical intervention, the USCG employs advanced systems to ensure prompt and accurate maintenance of its fleet. The Electric Performance Support System EPSS is a prime example, designed to enhance the readiness and operational effectiveness of their cutters. EPSS offers a range of digital tools and resources that assist electricians in diagnosing and troubleshooting intricate electrical issues on board. These include interactive schematics, fault-finding guides, and diagnostic tools that enable electricians to identify and address issues with precision and speed. By improving the speed and accuracy of electrical repairs, the EPSS helps reduce downtime and ensure that Coast Guard cutters can quickly return to operational service. These cutters provide a sustainable platform for scientific research. Cutter Healy, for instance, features 4,200 square feet of scientific space enabling a wide range of experiments. During its deployments, the Healy encounters challenging icy conditions and relies on its ice-strengthened hull and powerful engines to break through the ice sheets that might be several feet thick. During her 2021 Arctic deployment, Cutter Healy embarked on oceanographic research projects in Nuuk, Greenland. During the mission, Healy embarked members of the international science community and institutions from the United States and Norway. These members conducted scientific research within Baffin Bay to gather and analyze essential data on environmental changes in the ship's labs. After spending several days in Nuuk, the Healy set sail once again for the next mission. Transiting these ice sheets requires skill and precision, and the crew of the Healy is well-trained and experienced in handling such conditions.
They remain vigilant and constantly monitor the vessel's progress to ensure their safety and the success of their mission. Throughout its service, Cutter Healy has participated in numerous rescue operations, including ice rescues and medical evacuations. The crew undergoes extensive training to prepare for emergencies. Their quick response and expertise have helped save lives in the Arctic. Healy has also rescued the Russian tanker, Renda, which was stranded in the Arctic ice off the coast of Alaska in 2012. Would the product warm it up in that <laughs> Renda was carrying much needed fuel to the remote Alaskan town of Nome. However, the ship became stranded in ice, and the crew was unable to continue its journey. Cutter Healy was deployed to assist in the rescue operation and spent several days breaking through the ice to reach the stranded vessel. In October 2021, Cutter Healy returned to the port of Baltimore after completing its historic transit in the Arctic's Northwest Passage. The voyage, which took nearly four months, marked Healy's first deployment since its extensive overhaul. In February 2020, the U.S.'s most powerful icebreaker, Polar Star, completed its 23rd journey to Antarctica. During its deployment, this strong icebreaker carried 159 crew members as part of Operation Deep Freeze. The crew had to break through nearly 500 miles of pack ice, clearing a nearly 18 square mile navigable channel to reach McMurdo Station. Regular maintenance and inspection were critical to the success of this mission. That is why the crew conducted extensive checks to ensure the vessel's smooth operation. Cutter Solar Star's divers played a significant role in this deployment. In addition to collecting samples and measurements, they inspected the ship's propellers to ensure they were in good condition. Every day, the crew met to discuss progress and address any issues that might arise. This right here is what to keep an eye on. Actually, I, I, I don't think it will show up. Like an hour ago, uh, just got it before I ran down. The USCG Cutters has been a vital asset in scientific expeditions to the polar regions for many years. Their ability to navigate through thick ice and withstand extreme weather conditions has made them an invaluable tool for researchers. Nevertheless, it's important to note that the incredible work of engineering behind these ships is what makes them capable of these feats.
That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.